Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com and today we're going to take a look at the Altura Photo Professional Filter Kit. Now, the first thing we have to do when we choose filters is we have to make sure we get the correct diameter for our particular lens. We can't just go by, well, it's a Nikon, so all the filters are the same size, or it's a Canon, or it's an Olympus. No, it all depends on what lens you're using, and usually I would suggest getting it for the most popular lens that you use all the time. So here I happen to have a D3200, and the lens on here is an 18-70 to DX zoom. This is my more popular lens for all-around shooting, so I have to look somewhere and there it is right on the bottom it says 67 millimeter diameter so I choose the 67 millimeter diameter Altura professional filter kit now it comes with three different filters let's go over what these are used for the first one is what is called a UV filter this is basically a protective filter this is meant to thread onto your lens and make sure that if any mishap happens where you bang this because face it a lot of us walk around with the DSLR either with a pistol grip design or with a hand grip or just hanging around our shoulders and it's walking around with us everywhere and you might take a chance and bang it well that means that instead of damaging your precious and very expensive front optic on your lens the brunt of the damage will be taken by the UV filter plus it also compensates for ultraviolet glare now that was a really big deal in the days of film but now you still get it every once in a while depending on what time of day you're shooting and this is to eliminate that bluish cast sometimes that you get but again, this filter should be left on here at all times. This is like a small insurance policy for your lens. Now let's take a look at the second one here. Here we go. This is a very popular filter for all around use, especially on bright sunny days or in situations where you have a reflective surface. This is called a CPL, a circular polarizing filter. The reason it works is because it's actually two filters and one and the polarization effect takes effect as you turn the filter so this one has to be again thread on in front of our UV do not remove that UV filter keep that on there now once it's nice and tight not super tight we don't want to strip the threads now as you turn it you keep turning it the same way as you thread it on and when you look through your viewfinder you will notice that it'll give you number one better contrast between the sky and clouds and also if you're dealing in a situation where there is reflective surface like glass chrome or water as you turn it you can either add more reflection or remove it altogether so it's a very beneficial filter to use in today's world of digital photography and videography now the next filter that comes on here let's remember to remove these we turn it the opposite way that we did while threading it on so it now comes off the other way and that's off now we're going to take a look at the third and last filter this is what is called a neutral density filter and this is a version 4 now a neutral density filter is very important especially for us videographers and photographers that like to shoot at a wide open aperture when you do that you tend to contain your subject matter and focus and you blur out the background but a lot of times you have to pick a really fast shutter speed to be able to compensate because if not everything is going to be blown out in the back it'll be a washed out mess here steps the neutral density filter when we thread this guy on now what it's going to do for us it's going to stop down two more stops so instead of having to shoot at the super fast shutter speed, I can pick a slower shutter speed and create a blurring effect that I prefer as opposed to what the camera thinks works. Especially in situations where you want to show flowing water and you still want to see some detail in your background, especially bringing up beautiful colors if you're shooting in an exterior environment and your model is placed in front of a beautiful backdrop. So again, a very important filter in today's world of digital photography. If you have any ideas for videos on photographic equipment, subscribe to the link underneath. And also, shoot us an email at video at digitalgoja.com. Happy shooting! <laughs>